Hello everybody, my name is Kadem, welcome back from the video of the Forgotten City. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, we went ahead and did a lot of things with Galerius again. We gotta talk to him and once again, uh, we don't see him for some reason because he left. But he's still there. So I'm getting more, we already had this conversation before, exactly. We just went back in time again after Malerius uh, basically so got elected and screwed everything up. So uh, we got to retry again. Your name is Galerius and you're about to offer to take me to Sentius so he can tell me about the golden rule. Oh, I guess how much did I drink last night? Uh, sorry to have bothered you. No problem, my guy. No problem, I have oh, to go. And since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. All right, what is this? He's going to give me something, boys? A zip line, so rudimentary wooden zip line handle bar. So I'm gonna, I can do the zip lines now, Just which is very the good. Just to the rope over the lake and hang on to the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. Good, very good. And if it doesn't work, the worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. I haven't quite summoned the courage to test it myself. But don't worry, it's completely safe. Probably. All right, see you around. All right, so obviously the first thing we know is we know who is going to do the golden rule, the first one, right? It's obviously the one that's been elected. He did the golden rule. So he, he, he broke out the golden rule. So what I'm going to do is I'm obviously going to zip line right away. Right up there, boys. It's going to go so much faster now. Just like that. And we're going to start running like crazy. I already know, I want to talk to Sentius because I already know about the golden rule. Okay, so guide me then. No, no, that's not what I meant to do yet. God damn it. Don't want to do that. Come on. Wrong one. No, wrong one. All right, so this is a flashlight. Oh, the, both of them are the flashlight. Okay. Uh, he's not there this time around. See, the soldier is not actually there. In the, in the, uh, the gladiator is still there. Soldier is not though. All right, so... I'm gonna try and convince him this time around to not do anything stupid. Domitius, don't do anything stupid. Don't follow him. Mariolus isn't receiving visitors at the moment. It being election day. About the tri uh, about that tribute you wanted. What do you think about the golden rule? Who are you going to Mariolus, vote for? of course. If old man Sentius can't even protect his own daughter, how can we trust him to protect us? All right, well, how about that tribute you wanted, my guy? Yeah? What have you got for me? How, how about a hundred denarii? Here's ten denarii. All right, what do you want? How about a hundred of those? Osin culio mio. Just make it good. All right, so here's ten denarii then. A hundred is not enough. I'll see what I can do. Just make it good. Okay, well, I'll be good. Whatever. I'll be going. Just remember. Okay, so it, it doesn't say anything to me. So first thing we want to do, first thing, uh, I'm going to go and do this. So print of origins, create a time paradox. According to Sentius, I'll be flung back to my own time if I can't pre create a paradox. I need to change the history. Uh, what about this? Figure out how to most likely break the golden rule. Already know that though. We already know who it is. So uh, we already know about all of that and we know for a fact... I'm going to talk to Sentius because I know for a fact who it is. Uh, I know who it is. So this girl, I haven't talked to her before. Ugh, this place has become a thoroughfare. All right, look, I do need to talk to you about your sister, though. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? Yeah, you saw, you said that the uh, last time as well. Uh, what's your story? I'll be going now. What do you think about the golden rule? What do you think about the golden rule? Some people say it's the creation of an all-seeing god who's watching everything we do. But what kind of an awful, incompetent god would let my sister go missing on his or her watch? Maybe it's best if you don't go insulting gods just in case. Oh, I'd say it to their faces if they had the courage to show themselves. Did you hear that? Curse you, you coward! Where is my sister? What do you have to say for yourself? No response. Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. Well, that was reckless. Well, at least we know blasphemy doesn't break the golden rule. I guess so. I'm telling you, this mysterious god of ours has to be asleep on the job. Either that, or like people are saying, 
really is just a children's fable my father is exploiting to frighten us into behaving. I don't know about that. It's definitely real. Oh, and I suppose I'll just have to take the word of a know-nothing barbarian who just arrived, will I? <laughs> Look, lady. You need to I shut the fuck up, my girl. All right? If you want me to help out with your sister eventually, you're gonna need to be a bit more friendly. All right, my guy. Look, we got a problem here. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? Ain't nobody have time for this. We have already had this discussion before. We have? Wait, if I understand correctly, someone is about to break the golden rule, forcing me to create a portal in time to bring you here? Exactly. I must have entrusted you with figuring out who the culprit is. Only, I assume... You had to start over. Is that about right? If so, what happened? Well, I gotta tell you, I couldn't stop from being, uh... I, I broke it? I didn't break shit. I couldn't stop it from being broken. Ah, uh, I see. Look, it's unfortunate. But all that matters now is that you make use of what you've learned and gathered and do better next time. I assume you've sought me out again for a reason. Well, what do you think? I, I'd like to release Dulai. Yeah, I'd like to release Dulai. You mean Duilius? Releasing him is out of the question, I'm afraid. That man is a liability we simply cannot afford. Listen, my dude, Perhaps we need to li we need to do that. Multiple times, sneaking around in places he should not have been. What does he do? Uh, what exactly did he do? Where you're going with this? You think me cruel? I assure you. That is not the case. You may not be aware of this, but it was not so long ago during the Republic. The law of the Twelve Tables would have required that he be killed as soon as he was born, owing to his deformities. Here, we see to it that he has food, water, and shelter, and most importantly, he is able to continue living, a privilege that would be taken away from all of us were he to be released and commit the crime of trespass. The man has no self-discipline, poor comprehension of what is going on around him, and is an incorrigible rule-breaker. I will not jeopardize the lives of my people so that one man can go free. Now, was there something else? Well, he's not the one who created the, uh, the goddamn go uh, who destroyed the golden rule. All right, so can we talk about who's going to break the golden what is, rule? What is it? Uh, I know who it is. Yes. It's uh, it's Cynthia, the malicious, malicious. It's malicious. Why do you say that? Well, obviously, he, when he wins the election, he's going to convict you of treason and sentence you to death. Exactly. Automatic. That's, I, I'm speechless. How do you know? Of course, this isn't your first loop, is it? Of course, it's not. Well, you must stop him from winning the election. I expect you'll need some kind of leverage on him, but I can't be seen to be involved in this, of course, so you'll be on your own. You better not waste any time, and may Swada, goddess of persuasion, go with you. So I gotta have a, a, a leverage on him? I'll get right on it? I don't think I can. I'll get right on it. Thank you. So I gotta figure out a way to elect somebody else. Shut the fuck up, lady. I'm wearing uh, trousers and stuff. The hell are you talking about? This is the biggest fashion in the world right now. You are not aware of this. All right, so I got to figure out something first. You sins with the ears, huh? Well, I got to get in there. So somehow I got to find out where Malicious is. And I got to figure out, like, I got to have something on him. And plus, I also... Gotta be able to to talk to to somebody. Uh, I gotta be able to talk to the other guy, right? The uh, the guy that I wanted to elect in the first place, the third guy. So I, I need to to talk to him. He, he he ran away last time, so I don't know where he went. So I gotta figure that one out. So let's try and figure that one out. What is she doing here? She wasn't there last time. Over you. 
I met Cordelia, to what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Wait a minute, you weren't there the last time. Um, do, do you know about the golden rule? Do you know what, uh, what's the, what's the status on the election? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'd like you to nominate Galerius. Exactly. I want them to nominate Galerius. I like the idea, but I know Galerius well, and his position has always been that he won't run unless Maliolus withdraws. It was only yesterday that he said to me he'd only ever run if it was absolutely necessary to make sure Sentius wasn't re-elected. So... I suppose if you'd like to see Galerius elected magistrate, you'd need to persuade Maliolus to withdraw somehow. Okay, how am I gonna do that? Certainly. How am I gonna do that, boys? I don't know how I'm gonna do that. That's gonna be rough. Well, how am I gonna... I need to figure out something. Malicious, where is he at, though? I don't know where he is. Alright, so let's figure this out. Because I gotta figure out where he is. Uh, find out what's distressing Lucretia. Uh, find out who, uh, how to get into a malicious villa. So let's track this. So we're easy. I gotta get into his villa somehow. And, uh, I don't know. Is that his villa? That could be. That could be his villa. So I, I gotta, I gotta find a way. Because I never went in this place before. So maybe that's the way. I gotta find a way to convince him, like, to not run right now. What is this? What is that? Note from Navia. Seek a bow. Okay, so I'm looking myself in. Don't try to follow me. Nothing good will come of it. Okay. Find a way into the palace. Um, and how am I going to do that? Find a way into the palace. Well, there is a way in there. Okay, so maybe uh, on the other way uh, in. I got to find a way, boys. I got to find. I talk to a bunch of people. And I'll talk to... It's all up to you now. What are you talking about? Graffiti, translate. Okay, there's a graffiti. To survive, we must be all kind. Corrected, we must be all wise. Okay, so this... We're getting closer to a possible person that could know a thing or two about what's going on here. Can I talk? Oh, there we go. There we go, finally. There's people here. Uh, these are just statues, though. So how do I get to... To any of them, really? How do I get to... To that guy who was hiding and stuff? Better get to the temple. I don't know, boys. Oh, who are you? Hey, friend. I'm Octavia. Octavia. Welcome to life under the golden rule. It's a ghastly thing, is it not? How are you faring so far? You're a new one. I'm fine, thanks. I'm feeling a bit on edge. That's good, in a sense. If you're not on edge, you've not been paying attention. But on the bright side, once you've been here a few months, it's well. It's slightly less terrifying anyway. We've all been where you are now. I remember when I first arrived. I used to lay awake at night contemplating the big questions. Why am I here? Is there a way out? What is the golden rule and who or what is responsible for it? Basically I ask the same questions the answers, like me. I don't think anybody does. But I'm happy to share with you what I've learned. Oh really? So do you know way out of here then? I'm afraid not. Although I did once hear someone gossiping down at Aurelia's tavern about a possible way out. Yeah, I I'd already know about Aurelia. Rumors, but it's too much money. And wealthy. You could look into it, I suppose. If that doesn't work, then I suppose we're all stuck here until God, uh, the gods, decide our fate. Thanks. I'll look into it. Out. All right. So, uh, what's your story? I'll be going now. Right, well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. What? No. No, 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 no. What's going on? Wolf Pierce, what are you doing? Get back from Oh, there. God, don't do that. Close That's a sin. Eyes. You'll fall. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life working for a man who treats me like an animal? I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Ulpius. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Please, Ulpius. Help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. 
All right, I'll talk to him. Good luck with that. I'm out of here. Do you really think his suicide would break the golden rule? Uh, I don't know if his suicide would do it, to be honest. I'm not sure. I don't know, but it's a crime for slaves to take their own lives. And a debt bondsman isn't far off. Well, good luck with that. I'm out of here. Danger just as much as mine. Are you really just going to walk away and leave me with this? Uh, yes, I can't help you. I see. Well, if we survive, I'll remember this. Let's see. I'm out. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Olpius, no! Alright, let's find out. Let's find out if the golden rule is going to happen or not. He did I, kill himself. I can't believe he went through with it. I, oh lord. That poor lamb. Well, I can't suspect him anymore. I mean, he's dead. The suicide didn't break the golden rule. What does that mean? Well, I suppose it means suicide isn't a sin under the golden rule. So I guess that means whichever god is responsible for it. It isn't mine. Well, there we go. So suicide is in a, uh, a thing and uh, blasphemy as well. So blasphemy and suicide are not a sin, boys. Is that my fault? What happens now? I'll have to let everyone know what happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Ulpius. All right. Well, it looks like we know one more thing, I guess. What about this? How can we pass this test if we don't know the rules? Exactly, we know the, we need to know the rules. So, uh, locked great temple door has been locked. Okay. Well, uh, there's no way for me to go there, and I could probably just zip line through there. Is there a way for me to zip line? Jump? What the fuck are you talking about? Missing piece? Seems somebody removing a plaque for a plaque from here. The whisper wants me to jump. Okay, I'll jump. Let's go, boys. Woo! Figure out how to get to Malicious Villa. Okay, so the... Oh, that's awesome. So, that's how I'm gonna get in? There's the asshole. So, I found out how to make it to this villa, uh, villa boys. Message. Uh, we got... Uh, okay. Examine. There's the key. Oh, I got a key to this villa as well. Oh, shit. Alright, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna tell you something. My, I've got something on you, my guy. Did you just leap into my villa from the balcony a hundred feet above? Exactly, that assassin style, my guy. Extremely reckless or impressively clever. Well, why have you risked life and limb to see me? I want you to withdraw from the election. What's your story? Uh, what's what's your take on the golden rule? You mean the children's fable? Exploited by Sentius to scare us all into doing what he wants. Oh, trust me, it's real. Wait, don't tell me you've fallen victim to that monstrous lie. Of course not. Golden rule is definitely real. What makes you think uh, too sure it's not real? The person making a claim bears the onus of proving that claim. Can you do that? Can you prove the golden rule is real? Of course I can. The golden rule is definitely real. Nonsense. There's no way you can prove that. If it was real and you'd seen someone break it, then you'd be dead already. Not exactly. I'm reliving the same day over and over again. The golden rule is broken each time. Yeah, what would it take to prove you, to you that it's real? Books? Notes? If in a, even if I can't prove it, if I'm right, then accepting it will diver, avert disaster. If I'm wrong, then accepting it will make the city a better place. Is, isn't that a good thing? I disagree. I'll be guided by what is best for the city's people, and that means giving them the freedom to do as they wish. You're blind, my guy. What would it take? Bro uh, books? Notes? Surely, you're not one of those people who believes everything you read. As if a lie could be transformed into the truth by the simple act of writing it down. Okay, my guy. Well, if I tell you, I can't say any uh, nothing is... Uh, I can't see nothing I, I say is going to convince you. What about I'm reliving the past? What? Oh, 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 I see what's happening here. Another poor, vulnerable soul taken in by Sentius's machinations. He won't get away with this much longer. What are you talking about? Okay. Whatever, True, I guess. But that is simply because you are mistaken. Alright, so I think you should withdraw, my guy. To be honest, I really do. 
Are you insane? You barge into my villa uninvited and then make outrageous demands? Why would I withdraw from an election I'm bound to win? Because if you don't, I'm going to kill you. Because as soon as you win, you're going to break the golden rule. No, if you don't, I'm going to kill you. You fool. Impossible. The many shall suffer. Oh, the well, I guess. Of the one. All right. I guess not, boys. Follow Cynthia's back to the shrine. Oh, for God's sake. I'll knock. Let's get the fuck out of here. So I gotta try again, boys. So we gotta go back. Oh, uh, that didn't work. Obviously, going through his villa works. Seems to work. But we gotta talk to the priestess again. She's the only one who can do that. Who can help me. Alright, first, third time. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and why you look like you've just taken on a gladiator and lost? I'm getting more. We already had this uh, discussion. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. See you later. Actually, I wanted to talk to you again. Of course. What did you I want. want to I need you to run. What do you think about the election? I need you to run. I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting. But from what I hear, Maliola said, ah, maybe that's not such a bad thing. If Malirus runs, he's going to break the golden rule and kill us all, my guy. You need to go in. And how could you know that? I mean, I don't like the man, but I don't see how you could know a thing like that. My guy, he plans to have Cynthius executed for treason. You overheard him say that? Oh, why does that not surprise me? He and Cynthius have despised each other for a long time now. Well, in that case, we need to find a way to make sure Maliolus loses. Better yet, get him to withdraw altogether. If you can do that, and Sentius is the only candidate left, I'll run against him. Deal? Alright, it's a deal. It's a deal, alright, it's a deal. So what do you think about the election? Alright, so we're good. So that is all that. Um, now what I need to do is talk to the priestess again, because the whisper told me to go for the priestess. I don't know exactly what that means. Like, the priestess last time wasn't really there for me. Now, I'm not going to talk to Cynthia again. Like, look. Until I've got the proof and everything, I need to find a priestess. So, where is she? I got to figure out where she is. She's probably in the same place as last time. I got to tell people to actually vote for Galerius, prob probably. There's this guy as well. There's a note. Dulai's note. Uh, uh, protesting his innocence. I did not. Okay. All right. So I need to find a bow and stuff. And also, yeah, I need to help that woman out. I need something. Fabia, boys. A man arrived in the bars. Yeah, I know. I know all about that. I'll get right on it. Any idea who's training Virgil? Are you serious? This is an emergency. Well, this is an emergency as well. Are you going to help or not? All right. I'll get right on it. Thank you. I have to hide. Find me in... Why is the whisper may tell me no? D do not go in there. Do not go in there. What? Why? Just trust me. Uh, all right, um, there we go. My Telling her to not go in there. There we go. That's why. Uh, that's what was happening. Okay, so Fabia, I need to talk to you. But first, for the Roman baths. All right, let's find out. Let's go into the Roman baths, boys. I don't know what's the gun you give me. There's the bow, and there's the arm guy. Stop right there. I am looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? Yes, I don't know a Quinctius. Yes, I saw him worshipping in a small round shrine just around the city, second building on, the, on your left. Thank you. For your service to the Empire, I'll let you live for now, but you'd best make sure our paths don't cross again. All right. Well, this guy is going to cause problem, though. Yeah, this guy's going to uh, cause a problem. That is not good. If I go in there. She will guide you? So the priestess. You want me to talk to the priestess, but how do I talk to her? First off, this is where I came from. Yeah, the first time around, right? Look at this. Okay, I got to figure out where the priestess would be. And... I, I don't know, boys. I don't know where she could be, so... Gotta figure it out. So, first off, where she could be. 
Figure out uh, who is harassing her. Fabia. Uh, ask her who, he, who she is. Figure out who, how to neutralize the armed man. I, I may need to uh, get creative. Alright, so I figured out uh, how to neutralize the armed man. Intruder. Lead resolved. Intruder. So, what happened? How did I resolve that? Wind and bow. What the fuck? Why is this thing broken apart right now? Oh, he went into the shrine. That's right. And he died because of that. Oh, well, that helped us out. All right. Search. Examine. Fetch arrows. Take. Denarius. Denarius. Take. There we go. Bounty notice. Oh, he had Emperor Nero has ordered the execution of a cultist named Quintitius. Uh, with different colored eyes. Really? Okay. Find Quintius, the man with, uh, with green eye and blue eyes. Okay. Wooden bow. Take it. There we go. Alright, so I got the wooden bow. Search for him. He's got nothing. Alright, so obtain a bow. That's done. We can actually get the bow and give it to this guy. You there. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I couldn't help but notice that fine bow you're carrying. Yes, I know you I want it. You managed to get your hands on it, especially in the light of our dear old magistrate's ban. But I'm impressed. And before you ask, no, I wouldn't dream of trying to buy it from you. I have no use for a wooden bow myself. But I would like to propose a joint business venture of sorts. Go on. Tell me, do you have any idea how people here end up as golden statues? Yes, I do. Tattoos come to life and fire golden bow arrows at them. And here I was thinking I was the only one to figure it out. In any case, supposedly one or two of those arrows is enough to turn a full-grown man into gold. Now, of course, that is a travesty. A terrible, horrible waste of human life which has to be stopped. And yet, on the other hand, I can't help but think of the tale told by that Greek fella Aesop. The goose that laid the golden egg. With the ability to transmute organic matter into gold, one could create infinite wealth. Use your imagination. Golden animals, insects, trees and plants. The Midas touch without the drawbacks. We are talking riches beyond imagining. And even if we were to... That's greedness though. The that's hours, greed. I don't think that's a good thing, boys. Interested? I'm interested. That sounds grossly unethical. I think the Golden Goose is meant to be a cautionary tale, my guy. Look, I might have skimmed over that one, but don't be so pedantic. Are you interested or not? I'm interested. That sounds grossly unethical. Sounds unethical. Oh, I'm not suggesting we use such a bow on people. There's no profit in breaking the golden rule. In that case, go on. Excellent. So the first question is, how do we get our hands on one of those golden bows? Now, I have a plan. But first, tell me. Are you familiar with the story of the goddess Diana? Uh, I am. Not really. No problem. Allow me to explain. Diana is our goddess of the hunt, the moon, and the underworld, depending on who you ask. The one thing priests and poets agree on is that she carried with her a golden bow and a quiver of golden arrows. And it just so happens that there is a shrine of Diana in this very forum with a prominent statue of the goddess herself. And would you like to guess what she's holding in her hand? A bow and an arrow. A golden rule. Precisely. I can't tell you how many hours I've spent in that temple staring at it, trying to figure out how to retrieve it without breaking you know what. Okay, alright, I saw uh, I got you. But you want me to steal it. Oh gods no. If you tried that, we'd all be dead within moments, I'm sure. No, here's what I propose. You give your bow to me, I cover it in a thin layer of gold leaf, and we create a replica of a golden bow. Really? You enter the shrine. Extinguish the braziers and under cover of darkness swap out the fake for the original. It's not theft exactly. It's more of a a trade. A trade, a okay. Mistake. This is a dangerous path, and there's no way of knowing where it will lead. But in my experience, all the best adventures begin with a risky first step. Now, you must have questions. Ask away. Alright, why can't I just take it? Why can't you uh, why can't you do it yourself? Isn't that extremely dangerous? I don't have any questions right now. Isn't that extremely dangerous though? When Prometheus stole fire from the gods and became a hero to all mankind, do you think he was worried about the danger? Fair point. Okay, so archaeologists inside Prometheus was also punished from eternity, if I recall correctly. Only because he was silly enough to get caught. 
All right, so that's all the questions I had. Why can't you do it yourself? Why can't I just take it? Because the gods would see you, of course. Hence my proposal. All right, that's all the questions I had. So, are you in, partner? Uh, I'll do it. Uh, all right, so what's that gonna do? If you don't like uh, action or aura elements, feel free to decline. Oh, so that has aura elements to it. Interesting. Uh, I'll do it, but don't ever call me a partner. Uh, if you don't like archers, feel free to decline. I'm going to pass. I'll do it, but don't ever call me partner. I'll, uh, all right, I'll do it. It seems very intriguing. I don't know where that's going to lead us, but I'll do it. Wonderful. Now, if you land over your bow, I can get started applying a layer of gold leaf. Yep. This is a I'll give you the weapon, weapon, and we'll do our thing. Bear with me for a moment. And here we are. A gold leaf bow. There we go. We got a gold blow, a golden bow, boys. Fake golden bow. All right, we'll take it. Now I've gone and unlocked the shrine of Diana for you. So as quick as you can, head on inside. It's just at the end of the street on the left. May the gods not watch over you. All right, so uh, go to the shrine. Enter the shrine of Diana. We'll do that right away, boys. In the, uh, the next video, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.